to that weekend speech in Nandi that has caused a star on social media. The second long address by President Uhuru Kenyatta's son, Muhoho Kenyatta, was his first ever public campaign for his father. But was this just a normal campaign, or could Muhoho be going down a grooming path just like his father and grandfather? Richard Sina takes us down memory lane. <laughs> When it comes to political speeches, more so when vote hunting, Moho Kenyatta's remarks by Kenyan standards will earn a slot among the shortest speeches ever. 24 seconds. Nimefurai sana kufika Nandi County. Nimefurai yangu ya pili kufika Nandi. Asanteni sana kwa kuwa marafiki zetu. Wa Kenya tufanya kazi pamoja. Naomba vijana tupige kura kwa amani. Asanteni sana Mungu awabariki. Less than half a minute that caused a star with comedians and Kenyans on social media taking on the Moho Kenyatta challenge. Ningependa kuwasalimia watu wetu. Nimefurahi sana kufika Nandi County. Visibly shy Moho, a clothing designer who had accompanied Deputy President William Ruto on a campaign mission to Nandi, later addressed another gathering at Kaptumo. This time, his speech was 27 seconds, and he did not read it from his phone. Perhaps understandable for someone taking to a political podium for the first time. But was it just a normal campaign? If history is anything to go by, maybe not. Muhoho's grandfather, Mze Jomo Kenyatta, introduced his father, Uhuru Kenyatta, to the political scene at quite an early age. At four years old, Uhuru was interacting with senior government officials. In this 1965 picture, he walks alongside his father, Vice President Daniel Moy, and Attorney General Charles Njonjo. He found himself in such situations many times. By 1973, he was still tagging along his father. On the 12th of September 1973, he watched as his father signed a visitor's book with Finance Minister Mwai Kibaki, Vice President Daniel Moy, and Works Minister James Nyamoya looking on. He also got to meet world leaders such as the West German President and Malawian President Kamuzubanda. His elder brother Mohoho appeared in family photos but not political events like Uhuru. Jomo Kenyatta may have chosen to groom Uhuru, a mission he did not complete by 1978 when he died. <laughs> President Daniel Moy, who took over from Jomo Kenyatta, gave Uhuru the real induction into politics and completed the grooming mission. Uhuru, who was dubbed the Moy Project, joined the scene as the Kenya Tourism Board Chairman and later became a nominated MP, Cabinet Minister, Gatundu South MP, Kanu Chairman and Kanu Presidential Candidate, who after one failed stab at the presidency, secured residence at the house his father once occupied, State House. Close to four decades after Jomo Kenyatta died, his grandson may be going through the same political baby steps his father was taken through, albeit at an older age, with exposure to the world and its leaders. The Uhuru Kenyatta family may have met U.S. President Barack Obama when he visited Kenya, but Muhoho's position upon his arrival at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport was rather strategic. On the continent, the clothing designer has met several presidents, among them Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni, and compared to his brother Jomo, has attended more high-profile gatherings, such as the United Nations General Assembly, when his father made his maiden speech. Is Muhoho being taken through the same political path his father walked? The Nandi appearance and speech may just have been a random campaign for his father, but may well be part of a chapter in his journey away from clothing and design. Rita Tinina, KTN News.